Welcome, survivors, to another episode of Let's After Dark Ride Die. After Dark Die. After Dark Did Did Did. This is the story of a girl. I gotta stop that. Who cried a river um, and drowned a whole world. In, indeed. And uh, I am recording today. Yeah. Uh, with a very special uh, guest, guest. She's been on the show before, and I've uh, I've managed to black bag her, uh, drag her over to the Dark Rise Studio, and uh, I I basically you can't tell, but from the waist down, she is just tied to that chair with a saw like device, uh, beeping and counting down. She must complete an episode of After Dark Rye, or else uh, it'll. It'll pop her body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And every day, I every second, I just think about doing it just for the fun of it. <laughs> um, that's Cody Mathis. Cody, say hi. Hi. Cody, you're a person. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're a bug scientist. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh -huh. You're uh, an adorable little bug. Occasionally, in, occasionally wrapped in rugs. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have some adorable puppers and kitters, and you work at uh, an animal uh, rehabilitation center, and uh, also you play a lot of Pokemon, and you like Pokemon, and mm -hmm. that that's probably the relevant thing here. People might remember you from such shows as uh, The Harvest Season, or oh. It's Super Effective, <laughs> or uh, Let's Die, the His vs. Yeah. Hers Guide to the Apocalypse, the podcast, the Revenant. Season five. I'm mm -hmm. sure I'll get it right someday. Um, so it was me and Cody, and we uh, became best buds and started a show called Let's Die, which already existed but was lying dormant for over a year that I wanted to bring back. And she was like, you know what? Uh, this crazy bastard is easy on the eyes. I guess I'll do it. Um, I detect everything you've said in like the last minute is true. <laughs> it's all true. Um, I've been waiting to jump in and be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But no, you can keep going. Uh, and then uh, she saw me stare. She saw a full moon and wondered if at the same time somewhere on this earth, I was looking at the moon also and thinking of turning into a werewolf. Um, what is this show about? Oh, Pokemon. This is No Hold Bars. No Nothing Podcast. We're talking about Pokemon. Our Pokemon we love, baby. And, we uh, love everyone. We love everyone. And make sure that you leave us a positive thumbs up. On your listening app, whether that be mm -hmm. Spotify or whatever. Mm -hmm. Nobody does reviews anymore. It takes too long, and no one can find them on iTunes. I like reviews. I mean, I, I would like love them. People, I like when people have reviews that you can, like, respond to. Like, they have, like, a question or something in it, or they, like, recount, like, a specific part. Like, I really loved when brett said this thing about this one pokemon and i just laughed because it was true and it's like i did say that and that's hilarious versus like uh, great show period I, i'll like, take uh look beggars can't be choosers and i'll beg for, I'll, I'll get on my knees dear listener i'll i will throw myself at your feet and kiss your little cutie toes i'm a chooser uh, i'll take anything um uh, Let's see, the first comment I think we got on Spotify was someone asking me where I got the music for the um, <laughs> the Jungle, what's that movie called with the uh, mythical ape monkey? Uh, oh, man. King Kong? No, not King Kong, Ding Dong. I'm talking about Pokemon. Hey, I rhymed. That's a good rhyme. Oh, the one uh, that has the... Mysteries of the Jungle. It's got that, that rude ape. Mm -hmm. It's a rude so rude the most unmythical looking poke like that pokemon could have been anything yeah and somehow that was what they were like this is mythical and then they showed a movie where there's like a hundred of them i mean and then the new mythical looks like a fucking turtle so it looks like a fantastical like magical turtle at least Zarude yeah. just literally is spider-man with like vines or something mm -hmm. anyway they, Do you not they, like the turtle? I, no, we've talked about this. Tropagos is blech. No, I don't remember anything. It's, like, I mean, five minutes after I, it's happened. Tropagos is all right. Like, it's not that I hate turtles. It's that mm, there are so many not... fucking turtle Pokemon, and they still don't have a bee Pokemon. So, 
That's see, that's not the fault of the turtle Pokemon. Okay, you can't blame that's turtles right. for the lack of beat. There's a you you think that there's a a game dev, um, that's just so anti B and pro turtle over at Game Freak that they're like this, like we need more. I mean, they have to be because that's what's they're they're popping out turtles left and right. We got a dolphin. Hmm. Very I recently. Did dolphin. Finally. I did like how it was a superhero dolphin too. Uh Palafin. Man, that superhero form is ugly, but oh, we got some stuff to do, baby. There's some news here uh that we should probably talk about. Um mm -hmm. the Valorous Hero event in Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I I don't know. I haven't been keeping up with it. Is this the first one of all no, the team events, no, or is nope. this the second one? It's the third one. This is the third one, so I missed the first <laughs> two. Oops. Oopsie. The first one was a Mystic Hero, and you right. get the, like, the final Pokemon that you get from it is a... Um, oh, it was a Lapras, a, wasn't it? A Lapras with like a little with, thing uh, on it. Yeah, with um, what's her name? What's their name's hair thingy in you, or something. I don't know. Not important. It. There she is. Oh, wait, wait. Let me come back to the screen. Oh, yeah. She's got a little ball. Yeah, a little something. The second one uh, was an, an, an instinctive hero. I don't even know. It was the instinct. Candela. Guy. You mean Candela? Mm -mm. Candela's. Oh, Candela's Valor. One, the Valor second one? Valor is Candela. Second one is Surge. No. Lieutenant Surge. No. Lieutenant Surge is uh, Love Baby mm. that he made in a spa one, oh, wait, uh, spa one day. Um, but yeah, that one, the last thing it gives you is a Chansey. And mm. then I'm currently on the second thing for Valor's Hero. So hold on. So for Mint Team Mystic, a blue team, you got a Lapras. That's a blue Pokemon. That's uh -huh. also partially water type. That tracks. Uh -huh. For Instinct, the Team team PP, yellow, mm -hmm. they they got a Chansey that's mm -hmm. not yellow or electric. Uh, I'm sure that there's, weird. like, logic in the story. Like, you know, how they pop up and they start telling you stories. Have I've... you ever read those? Nope. No, <laughs> me neither. I think one time I did, because I was like, I'm going to start reading these. And then I read it for, like, that brief period. And then the next, like, the by the time I finished that quest and, like, was on the second part of that quest, I stopped reading. I was like, I'm I don't sure. mind it. So, like, I don't, it doesn't bother me, but they're just, like, especially when it's special research, it's just way too long. Yeah. Uh, it'd be I'm great if they, if they had the money that they were able to hire enough developers to, like, just make, like, little, it doesn't have to be, like, a full-on cutscene, but something's remotely animated, you know, even yeah. if it's comic book style, something that holds my attention other than just a professor bobbing his head up and down mm -hmm. uh, and giving me a real creepy smile and says, hey there, young man, come check out this ice cream I got. Yeah. Um, and then 10,000 clicks to get through to see what I got to do. I see you're eating ice cream. Yeah. I am. Um, real professional. Because it's... This is a professional really show. It's really hot here. <laughs> nah, that's right. Now it is. <laughs> The gun show. Oh, they're all it's all melted now. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, so Valorous Valor event for mm -hmm. Valorian val mm -hmm. Valedictorians. Mm -hmm. Uh one star raids, it's doing Growlithe. I don't have one of those. Mm -hmm. Galarian. Oh, I, one. I hatched one the other day. Oh, very good. Galarian, Ponyta, Hoot Hoot, three stars. You got Galarian Stunfisk, terrible, Dredagon, good, shiny. Hisuian Braviary. I don't know if I even have those or not. Hisuian Avalog. Do you have one of those? Uh, five star raid, Tapu Finny, and Mega Raids, Mega Pinsir. You don't care. Mega Pinsir is cool. I just don't want to do it. I just don't want to do Mega Raids. I have no desire. Are you going to do any of these events? Um. Oh wow, Mega Pinsir does look pretty bomb. He looks awesome. And don't get me wrong, you know I'm a buggy boy. I love my bug Pokemon more than anything else. Uh. Just the the. The price of entry to do a mega raid these days is just more than I'm willing to do. Yeah. Um, I won't do any of the raids. I've been doing the quests for all of them, but... I'll do a Growlithe if I'm in the area of one. Yeah, That's I mean... literally... Like, if I happen to be underneath a Growlithe raid, like, then I'll do it, but otherwise I'm not gonna do it. Are you saying it weird on purpose? What? Saying what on purpose? Growlithe. What did I say? Growlithe. That's what I said. I said Growlithe. 
Growlithe. What? You just said the same thing that I just said. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, so yeah, I'll I'll this. try to get a Growlithe uh, if I'm near one, but otherwise I'm just going to have to let the Growlithe walk um, and not get, get one. But uh, last week, we talked about how Pokemon's revenue is down. Mm. Uh, me and Gracie did. Uh, Cody, you weren't there, mm. but we but we thought about you the entire time. I'm glad. Uh, I think, like I heard on in on another source, is it? I heard it, that is that source effective. It is a pretty effective source. Was um, it? Would you say it's like super superbly effective? Uh, it's hyper effective. <laughs> Hyper, it's hyper effective. Hyper effective. I'm gonna um, can, hold on. Can we change the name of this show? Do you think? Do you think he would be mad if we changed the name of this show to uh, "It's Not Very Effective"? Do you think he'd be mad about that? I don't know how he would feel about that. Yeah, because I mean, this show is literally like uh, that show. I think is probably the best Pokemon show that's ever existed and probably ever will exist and that man i think is a hero in terms of how he's managed to make a career on this i don't i can't say enough good things about him and how much he's, I a, he's one of the most genuine humans yeah like, but we even, can't talk about it we can't say his name because he'll sue me he already said that much um okay well i mean i can say that i've met him in in the real and he's a super genuine human and does I he really think i'm handsome does he ever look up at the moon and think about me we if I'm looking at the moon? Damn you. it! I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. But do you think he'd be miffed if there was a show that was the exact like anti like <laughs> fucking Joker to his Batman like show like this? Because that's basically this. This show is terrible, and it's but this show's supposed to be terrible. I feel um, like. I feel like he doesn't have an issue with other, I, like, he understands. But if other... we called it, it's not very effective as a play on it's super effective. Do you think that crosses a line? Probably. I probably, probably yeah. Okay. We At will least I would it. have a conversation At, with him first. After Dark Rise, a pretty good name. I'm pretty I like it. that. That I'm pretty. Yeah. We, we kind of have a brand here that we don't, we keep forgetting to push. Team Darkness. Woo! Woo. Um. Anyway. Talk about talk about making careers and money and stuff. Nantic apparently law is losing millions, and that's what mm. we talked about last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and what you were saying that you heard on that podcast is that Niantic refuted it. Correct? Is that where you were getting at? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Because I have it. Well, here. I think the thing is like don't they say aren't people saying that they're down on a month to month basis or something like that? Correct. So businesses don't care about that. <laughs> Right, because, I understand. So, but like overall, like across the year, they're doing better. They're like making more money than they've ever made before. Right. So, like they might have, they might have lost money over the past two months, but in you know February, maybe it was uh, like double what it was the pr for the previous February. Uh, I think month to month, though, however, is a is a it's not a broad overview, clearly, but mm -hmm. it's definitely a snapshot from the moment to moment ups and downs of this game. Like you can definitely read it as that, right? Like mm -hmm. clearly people this past month were not as interested in Pokemon Go as they have been historically. But the uh, thing is like, it, it might not be that. It might be that last year in April or May or whatever month it is, the weather was better. So people were outside more and they were spending more money. Or, I don't know, there are so many things that can impact it. It doesn't have to be people's interest in the game solely. I feel like that number, it was, because it was like millions. Oh, here it is. Um, I'm looking at it now. Hang on, hang on. I'm waiting. 34.7 million. Uh, this March. A drop in the bucket. For yeah. yeah, yeah. I think oh, and I'm sorry, that's April. Uh, and then 42.8 million in March and 58 million in February. Uh, that's, I guess that's last year. Mm -hmm. And then this year is a 40% drop. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I, yeah. I, I mean, clearly, well, I actually. Say, if, it, if it continues like that, like if throughout the rest of the year it's down, Period. Go, End of story. Go fest will go fest will be the telling factor. Go fest already took seventy dollars from me, so I, that's what I'm saying. Though, if go fest is down like 
like even if it's down 10% to me that's that's pretty telling especially where it is the, like the biggest of well I mean globally the global gofest ticket mm-hmm. sales if they're down 10% then that is that means 10% of your player base does not care about your game's biggest event you know so mm-hmm. even I don't think it'll be that way cuz like even I would probably am leaning towards doing it although I'm on the fence at this point about the global or the in person global i'm not gonna oh. make it in person who can afford that uh i threw my money wow are, are you going yeah are you after dark rise representative i can be Woo! we'll talk after the show the benefit of i guess like i guess saying no one can afford that it's true if you didn't have a partner in new york city <laughs> Let's go. So I literally have a place to stay. Let's go. And he's probably gonna pay for my parking. Hell <laughs> so yeah! I just had to pay for the tickets. So. We'll talk. We'll talk more after this. Yeah. So I'm definitely. I'm going. You guys just heard my genuine excitement. That's. So- <laughs> <laughs> that was- I was like, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Oh yeah, because um, then I can come on the podcast afterwards and yeah, for sure. And talk about the in-person uh, experience. I'm gonna be hanging out with the. He who shall not be named, and others. Uh, so. Oh wow! Well, tell him I said hi, and then let me know how puzzled he is when he's like, "Ooh." We'll do. Um. Anyway, uh, here's why I want to uh think that it does matter. Like you, where you said it, it the, the revenue yeah. being down is, uh, it matters because Niantic felt bothered enough by the report that they made a statement on it, and that's acknowledging it to some degree, even though they're saying, "Oh, guys." these numbers are inaccurate we're doing everything's just fine blah blah yeah. blah like niantic the way they operate typically if it's something bad they just t- tend to just completely ignore it right like why should this be any different unless they're really worried about how negative the story comes off so just acknowledging the story in itself is to me in it in a admission of weakness I don't think Cut so. them at the heels. I think it's the the fact that people freaked out so much and were like, "Oh my god, this game well, is a sinking ship!" And like, and the people that, that, that like were the like that, that the most are the people that are upset with the game that want changes to come to the game and have been like, "If you don't like what they're doing, affect their pocketbook. It's the only way to enact change." Those people were like, "See victory!" Ha ha. And yeah. then the antics like, "No way! No, everything's fine. Those people don't exist." There's they, nothing wrong with this game. I think they're just trying to say that, like, like basically they saw all of these, you know, articles and people posting about how, like, oh, their their game's going down, blah, blah, blah. And they had to, like, counter and be like, no. I think if people hadn't freaked out as much, they wouldn't have had to, rip, like, put out a statement. I don't think they're putting out a statement because of the losses. I think they're putting out a statement because people were freaking out. I and guess. It's not as big as a deal. So, in my... Opinion. In your opinion. In you your little... purchased opinion from Niantic themselves, how much did they pay you? Man, I wish I was cool enough. I know. I, w- I wish you were cool enough, too, because then you'd be like, I can't do these shows anymore, Brad. It's <laughs> negatively affecting the brand. Actually, your appearance on this show is proof enough that you don't work for Niantic. Because <laughs> there's no way they would ever let anybody actually come on this show. No, it's fine. Yeah. They, they, like, just, they just, they don't want to, Niantic and the Pokemon TCPI don't want to give me money because I'm an entomologist and they obviously hate bugs. So. Well, and that, well, yeah, they do hate bug Pokemon. It's clear. They they don't get enough love. No, uh, that's just Pokemon. the Pokemon general. That's just the, the, the Pokemon company in general. It doesn't give enough love to to uh, insects, to the buggy boys. Which is boys. ridiculous because the whole, like, inception of the game was insects. Like, the guy, the guy made an insect collection. Was like, "This is dope. Mm-hmm. What if I could just do this with everything?" Bam, Pokemon. I wish there was a Zygarde type Pokemon that was bugs instead of like a dog and a snake. I like That's Zygarde, cool. but I want like a high, like it be a literal hive mind, but not mm-hmm. combi, like something cool that turns into a, a big bug, mm-hmm. big old bug. Do you have speaking of big old bugs and Pokemon? Do you have a Larvesta yet? <laughs> have I opened the game yet? Um, there. Hmm. There. I have not opened that game since Larvesta started. Mm. 
Uh, and I heard on a, on a really good podcast that uh, somebody did some research about something somewhere and they determined after open, after hatching a, a lot of eggs that mm-hmm. the hatch rate was around 0.82%. Mm-hmm. That's not 8 to 8.2%. That's not 8%. That's not 82%. That that's is less zero, than a percent. Yeah, that's 0.82%. You got to round up to get to 1%. So no thanks. Why Why would I do that? Yeah. Why Why yeah. would anybody... Well, I don't want to... Okay, I don't want to disparage people that, that, that went hard for Larvesta. But I'm not buying 50 incubators. I, I already played that game and lost when, when it came... They did a fossil egg event probably three or four years ago now that i went hard into because i love the fossil pokemon Mm -hmm. um and after the 20th aerodactyl i was like i think i'm getting scammed here yeah and i was 20th non 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 omanite non caputo (laughs) yeah uh but oh well it, you know, if you got a lot of Vesta, congrats. I applaud you. Um, I'll get one when they go to one-star raids in a year. I don't have one, but I just checked my... I have a 10k egg that has a Larvesta capable pop possibility, a 2k egg that has it, and I think like four 5ks. Um, so I just need to get a Huakin, Um, for those... A 2K egg, though, that'd be pretty dope to get one out of a 2K egg. That'd be such a flex. No, yeah, but no shot. <laughs> it says it's there. It shows it. What'd you just catch right there? I saw your screen. A Pidgey. Oh, no, nope, Starly, sorry. Oh, oh wow. Just a bird. Pidgey Look washing it. all the birds. Mm, 2K egg, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got it. Go run around your house a couple times until it hatches and we'll get a live. It's a possibility. <laughs> That's funny. So you're saying. So you're saying there's a chance. Yeah, haven't caught one, or hatched one, rather. I probably got an egg that's ready to hatch. Let's start the game up and find out. Like, ready to hatch, like it's going to hatch while you're... Well, you know how it uh, Adventure Sync, it, you, when you walk... Fair, it, yep. And I haven't played the game in probably Do you a not week have and a half, two, two weeks or something like that. Do you not have so, the widget? I don't know what you're talking about. There's a widget that you can put on your phone. Mm-hmm. Right so I'm it's looking. like my phone's this is my 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 lock screen has my my bubs, my bubbies on it. Right there. Look at my bubbies, very cute. Dude, Candela um, is fine. I know. Uh and you can just put a widget there and it tells you how many like what your what eggs you have. Ooh. Yeah, look, look at her. Look, she likes me a lot. Mm-hmm. She, <laughs> it's funny, she looks like your partner. <laughs> Oh, kind of, yeah. <laughs> She's the red team. Hatch your egg. You have so May- many Pokemon near your house. What the May- heck? May third is the last time I played this game. Uh, what? Oh, see, there's the there's the hole. Oh, hang on. Oh. Can we can we get it? Can we get it on the oh, screen? Oh, okay. Click, click. There we go. I, it, there's we go. no shot. It's a Lara Vesta Auditory because listeners, they are. Nuna. It's a Luna. Yay. <laughs> you have another one, or just the one? Oh, just the one. Oh, what a pleb. Two star. Look, this is how many eggs I have in my... Casey. You only have three eggs? Yeah, I only got three eggs. That's why it's because you don't open my gifts, bitch. I, like I said, I have not played since the third. You haven't? I've been sending you gifts for forever, and you've, like, never opened them. That's because I haven't been playing since the third! I've given you gifts way before the third, my dude. I, and I, I open them when I play and see them. And I open them. All right, so, jeez. This is what the people <laughs> tune in for. Actually, you know what? The la- Not the last time I played, but the time before that, I did do gifts, and there were so many that I, like, opened the max amount or whatever, and mm-hmm. yeah. The real question is, are you getting a Coridon or a Moridon plush? I'm not going to get either, but if I could get one, I would get Coridon. Is that the red one? That is the that is correct. It's your your goofy goofy pos. What? Yeah. Excuse me, pos. Are you calling Karidan a piece of shit? <laughs> That's wrong. He's it's, adorable. He's probably not. He's so cute. He's just a cutie little baby. Um. Yeah. Looks like the the wheels won't turn, but 
Um, well, in my mind, they you're do look correct. Really cute. No, the Coridon and Maridon plushes. Oh, they have wheels. It's in the right. They're in the rideable forms. I I didn't realize. I just literally googled Pokemon on Twitter, and I'm just looking at how great would it be if they did a Power Wheels that was Coridon and Maridon. Power <laughs> Wheels X Pokemon. That would be. I mean, they're doing a heck ton of things nowadays. And then your frame rate crashes in real life. What is this? I don't know. What, I can't see what, what you're they what... trying to say right now. What are they trying to say? Oh. Is there something to talk about? The middle evolution of the crocodile fire thing is called Hogatar? Hog Hogator? What the fuck are you talking Hogator? about? Hogator? No! Incorrect! Crocolo what is it called? You mean crocolore? Maybe. I don't know. So, okay, so clar clarification. I am looking at Pokemon, at Pokemon, like the Twitter page for at Pokemon. They're May 11th. They put, it's giving, is the, is the tweet. And the pictures are of the middle evolution, or maybe- Crocolore. Maybe, what, what is the first evolution? Of Crocolore? Yeah. Is that what we're talking about now? Yeah, what's the first one? Wait, Coco? Fue Coco. It might be Fue Coco. But Fue Coco. the next person in the thing says it's giving Hogator vibes. And then it has... It, I don't even know. What does it mean? I don't know what this is. Dear listeners, send us an email at afterdarkry oh, at gmail.com. Oh, oh, Hoga. Message me on Instapod Dog and I'll forward them all to Cody. Pokemon, Pokemon Horizons anime. Hogator. Hogator, go for it. What the fuck is a Hogator? I'm so confused. I'm send this to you. This I hate it weird. so much. Maybe this is like the the name for a different. Oh, I might not. Maybe this is something different. I don't use this very often anymore. I don't use um. What you got to say? What this is? This is an audio recording. Well, I mean, I it's a video too. Listeners are getting a, a, a brief glimpse into my ADHD is what they're really getting a glimpse into. Um, I'm going to Google what Hogator is. Stop. You're Hogator gonna... is Fue Coco's Japanese name. Oh, okay. What is this? Roy encourages Hogator mid-battle with the song. Yeah. That's that was it. That was what I was watching. <laughs> this is the music. Oh my god, it's so inspirational. That's what I was watching. It's weird. Wait, Gecko is adorable, though. Are you gonna gear up with the Magikarp pool floaty? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I honestly considered either that or Lapras. Sixty dollars. <laughs> yeah. And my pool party would be fucking lit. Do you have a pool? I do. Oh, I don't. I did not know that. Come over. Well, see it sometime. Let me just. It's laying in pieces on the ground seven hours or whatever it is it wouldn't be the worst thing you drove seven hours for you're not wrong uh um, it's in pieces we're gonna hopefully get it put back together this week so there are listeners if you are interested in these pool floaties there come are, to my house there are psyducks whale lord pikachu bring Snorlax, a bathing suit or don't papyrus mantike and magikarp what happened in the pool stays in the pool quite literally mantike one looks like it's smaller the heck is this hat i am confusion did you just google like pokemon news i literally just went to twitter <laughs> and typed in pokemon <laughs> that's hilarious and that's what came up and i went down an adhd water uh, water hole rabbit hole I'm probably gonna cut all this though T totally understandable if you did no who's got time for that that's fair like i literally don't i gotta get this episode up and going we gotta go we gotta go Speaking of go, uh, if you want us to leave, uh, go to patreon.com slash poddog and uh, 
after you pledge a certain amount of money, that will go towards our GoFund. Uh, you can go fund me straight to retirement. So send us mm -hmm. some money and we promise that we'll stop eventually. That's how that works. Woo. Our patrons, however, also, in addition to funding my eventual exit from podcasts <laughs> as a whole uh, to get me to shut the fuck up, uh, they also vote on every Pokemon that we talk about every week on the show. And we will be doing that after the break. Uh, but in the meantime, we have to do... This show. Wait, Woo. wait. This break. Not, don't do this show. We are, we're doing. We're doing the break, and we have to listen to a show. A sponsored ad, totally pre-recorded. Hey. Oh, hey, you remember? You, it's like you've heard this show before. What do you mean? I remember. What? Yeah, you remember. I've been on this show before. I yeah, that's correct. And in, in, in you, dear listener, you should listen listen to her on those shows. Uh, absolutely. But <laughs> the recording is going to start right now. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another ad. Uh, yeah. We're not playing the music this time because Gracie's not here. Right. Every time she's not here, we... Every time she's not she here. She complains about Wait, the music I'll, being there I'll often all do the time. It. I'll do it with my with my mouth. And then, Cody, you come in with that, with the with the ad read. You got the copy there? Uh, sure do. What, is, what, are, what are we? What is the Pokemon? Fluttermane. What is the Pokemon? I said Fluttermane. Dun, 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 dun. After Dark Cry is brought to you by Fluttermane Sleep Powder. Are you having issues falling asleep? Well, Fluttermane Sleep Powder yes. makes you so you sleep so much. It also can be used by people with sleep apnea to make sure that you just stay the fuck asleep. Bing bong. Think you're waking up with apneic episodes and you can't sleep the whole time? Fluttermane sleep powder's got you covered. You just put it on your, you just snort it up your snoot and you stay awake and you sleep like a freaking baby. Maybe you won't wake up because of sleep apnea, but that's okay uh, because it'll be the best sleep of your life and the last sleep of your life. People that don't suffer from sleep apnea uh, can also just enjoy it and enjoy a full night's sleep, uh, possibly a full day's sleep, possibly two days' sleep. Uh, results may vary. Buttermain sleep powder. And we are back from our ad. Um, whatever it was, I'm sure it was fantastic. Um, sleep powder, huh? You want to talk about it? <laughs> what part of Fluttermane? I had a completely different Pokemon in my head. <laughs> what the hell? What, what did, I, what, what did I you... Was... <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, what? I don't know where she's getting sleep powder from, but why not? <laughs> like, fuck it. Fluttermane sleep powder. Don't sleep on it. Nope, I was definitely thinking masquerade. Why would that be sleep powder? Just I'm googling if they have sleep powder right now. Oh no, masquerade would be like a mask that makes it rain. That's Clearly. true. I don't know. Fluttermane is just I also like a thought, pill. Like, flutter, like fluttering here, 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 to sleep. Here, here, here. We'll we'll do another pre-recorded ad, and you do the music, and I'll do the ad. No. Listen, gentlemen, are you of a certain age? Are you getting a little up there in years? Is a handsome streak of gray run through your your hair? Can is life going super well, but it could be going a little harder? Maybe you just can't quite please your lady or partner in the bedroom. Well, try new horny on flutter main. Uh, vitality pills. You take these pills, you pop them in your mouth, and you're gonna be horny on Flutter Main like that, baby. Horny on Flutter Main vitality pills. Put one in your mouth today so that you can put it in their mouth tomorrow. And we are back. You take horny on Flutter Main all the time, don't you? Because you are always horny on Flutter Main. Me, 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 me. Um, that's why they call my bedroom Main Street, because everybody <laughs> walks through. Oh, we gotta do a Pokemon. 
right now. Right now, voted by our patrons. All right, go, go. Number 200, nope, yep, 246. It's the the rock skin Pokemon. Got any guess? The rock skin Pokemon. However, it's not just a rock type. It's got two types. It's uh. Two forty six. Is that Gen two or Gen three? That would be Gen, Gen the tail end. Oh, of Red, Gen Reggie Rock. Two. Uh, incorrect. Oh well. The end. Incorrecto. I give up. Um, it'd be it's a pseudo legendary. I'll give you that. Oh, is it the uh, one of the dragos, the dragons? I mean, you could it could pass for a dragon. Steelix? No. Here's a an another one, uh, another clue. Uh, it's one of my mom's favorite Pokemon. And also based on one of my mom's favorite, like, 80s movies series. It's a series of movies from the 80s. But, by the way, happy Mother's Day! Oh, happy... Mo oh, heck. If you just remembered, it's too late, because it's yeah. Mother's Tuesday. <laughs> uh, it sucks for you if you just remembered, text your mom and tell her you've been in a coma for a couple days. Um, I was in a horrible car accident. That's why I couldn't get you a gift. Her favorite 80s movie. Series. 80s. Oh, TV series. No, 80s series of movies that occurred in the 80s. Uh, 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 last hint. If you don't get it after this, then... Okay. All right. Uh, Versus is in most of the titles. And there is also a movie in the 90s and a couple of movies in the 2000s, et cetera, et cetera. Most recently, B Millie Bobby Brown was in one. And so was a giant rude ape. Not Zarud, but the biggest rude ape of all. King Kong. Hmm. Godzilla. It's Granitar. Godzilla. Actually, number two, 246 is Larvitar. Oh, that's fine. The rock skin Pokemon evolves into Pupitar, starting Pupitar. at level 30. Which One is of the best shinies. Also, like, as far as, like, the cocoon Pokemon go, it's probably my favorite. Well, no, it's, like, my second favorite. It's a really good pupa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but we'll get the Puppetar here in just a minute. Mm -hmm. um, and I am saying it wrong on purpose. Uh, it evolves into Tranitar at level 55. Uh, this Pokemon eats soil. Once it has eaten a large mountain, it goes to sleep so it can grow. Big same. Um, <laughs> it, uh, it is born deep underground. It can't emerge until it has entirely consumed the soil around it. Uh, hard same. Is that it? Yeah, that it's it? the same. It's the same thing over and over and over again. Wow, they couldn't. They didn't really feel like getting very creative, did they? Uh, yeah, it's literally the same thing over and over and over and over. Well, this is sad. Larvitar is born deep underground, far from its parent. Yeah, I would assume it's like laid in like eggs, right? You well, think some things are. Some things are have maternal instincts and do that, you know. It adapts poorly to bright lights. Uh, yeah. my page is not loading. Oh, okay. I got, I got this. Please do. I got this. Are you reading? You were uh, eat soil, born deep underground. Yeah, I got. Asleep. I got nothing. It falls here. asleep. It's born deep underground. Did you know it's born underground? Yeah, I think we mentioned that it was born underground. It doesn't. It Deal with um, bright light. Much like my mother, it finds in dirt. <sighs> much like my mother, she it, it, se wants to be separate from me, and then she fed me a mountain of dirt before I would grow. That is, it's a shocking one for one. <laughs> Larvitar sprite animation changes between Diamond and Pearl and Pokemon Platinum, but its static sprite does not change at all. And Pierce says similarities with dinosaurs, and it doesn't. It says. It comes from the legend of the Tarasque, which is a D&D &D thing. There's no fucking shot. How does this not mention Godzilla in any way? I guess I'm, maybe we get the Tyranitar. I'm loving uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Red Rescue Team, and Blue Rescue Team 
stuff phrases that it says when it levels up it says i leveled up now is it okay to chow down a mountain <laughs> when it's uh really low on hp it says i'm bone tired even eating dirt won't perk me up and then uh when it's between 26 and 50 uh percent health uh huh my health is down to half already and the 51 to 100 is i'd like to chow down on a mountain hell yeah that's what i'm talking about possibly uh, not safe for work Larvitar, I barely gnar. Um, uh, oh, oh, Yogiras. <laughs> what is the... that? <laughs> what was that noise? Yogiras is, uh, is the Japanese name, and it says it may be a combination of yo Yoji, which is baby or child, or Yosei, larva, and Kirai, hated. <laughs> wow. It is hated baby or hated larva in Japanese. I like hated baby. Holy crap. Just like me. Hi, mom. Uh, it evolves into Poopitar. Poopitar. Which is the rock, or excuse me, the hard shell Pokemon. Uh, its shell is as hard as a sheetrock, and it's also very strong. Uh, sheetrock's not that hard. Its thrashing can topple a mountain. Even sealed in its shell, it can move freely, hard and fast. Uh, it has outstanding destructive power. That's what she said. It will not stay still, even while it's a poopa. It, it already has arms and legs under its solid shell. Uh, Poopatar creates a gas inside its body that it compresses and forcefully ejects to propel itself like a jet. So it's farting everywhere. Cool. Yep. The body is very durable. It avoids damage even if it hits solid steel. It can generate enough force to knock down mountains. So... Larvitar, Larvitar, chow down on mountain. Pupitar, destroy mountain. That's right. It's there. And then is it the, the last one's be a mountain. <laughs> so like, Larvitar is like the kid that you force to eat the broccoli, and then later he becomes the teen that smacks the broccoli into the floor. Aw, this troublesome Pokemon can't wait to evolve, so it relieves its stress by wildly propelling itself around using compressed gas. Hell it's yeah. It's just a baby. It's just a baby. I love it. It's a great Pokemon. I love its angry little eyes and it, inside of its shell. Okay, I want to know its stuff in Pokemon Ranger. It appears to be based on a poopa. I'm pooped. I can't even hop about anymore. <laughs> that means he's he got no gas. He got no gas. Oh, he's, his purple is so good. Pretty good. Any more? Um, <clears throat> Sanigaras is the Japanese name, and it's a combination of San Sanagi, which is pupa, and Kirai, which again is hated. Kirai! <laughs> so sad. Tyranitar is a Pokemon. Big ol' mountain man. He's a big ol' mountain man, just like me, in bed. Okay. Okay. Uh, powerful Pokemon with an insolent nature, uncaring of others, extremely strong, uh, good resistance to all forms of attack. It's always looking for a battle and will not flinch at anything, though it, has, it ignores opponents that it thinks are not worth its time. Rude. Hi. Oh, it has its misspelled in the, <laughs> in the Bulbapedia article next. It says Trianitar. Trianitar. Hey, that's a Your fucking shirt. Do or do not. <laughs> that is a fucking shirt. There is no Trianatar. Buy the After Dark Rise shirt Trianatar today. It's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be a, a Larvitar like holding on to a tree branch like that cat poster, and it's gonna say Tri <laughs> tri Trianatar. That's oh a badass God. shirt. I'm, I'm making that. Um it evolves from Poopitar starting at level 55, the final form of Larvitar. Uh, it can mega evolve. And is also distantly related to the Paradox Pokemon Iron Thorns, which we'll, we're not going to cover today. So, better luck next time, Iron Thorns. Overwhelmingly it's... powerful. It can bring down a whole mountain to make its nest. Yeah. Wand Extremely strong. It can change the landscape. It has an insolent nature that makes it not care about others. <laughs> in just <laughs> in, in, I'm laughing before I can even say the joke in, 
In in just one of its mighty hands, it has the power to make the ground shake and mountains crumble. Just like just like me in bed. <laughs> Ayo. Bow, 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 bow. Um Yeah. It has an impudent nature. Rampages knock down the mountains and buries rivers. Maps must be redrawn afterwards. Whole villages torn asunder. Okay, let's see. What is its Pokemon Ranger stuff? Here's yeah. the... Well, before you get there, let's do the Mega um, Pokedex entries. Due to the colossal power poured into it, this Pokemon's back split right open. Its destructive instincts are the only thing keeping it moving. Um, the effects of Mega Evolution make it more ferocious than ever. It's unclear whether it can even hear its trainer's orders. Low HP. I'm fainting. I lack power. <laughs> That's how I feel afterwards in bed. 51 to 100 is let us fight for our victory. <laughs> can, can, Cody, next time we're with our partners, can we say that when we're all done? We're going, I'm fainting. I lack power. And then just I go to sleep. I lack power. And then just go to sleep. No. I'm going to. I'm not doing that. I'm doing that. I Me, only see him I'll, once every two I'll, weeks. I, I don't want him to. I'll do that to Jeff. I'll do okay. it. I'll That's go to good. bed with him and then I'll say that. Okay. No other Pokemon has the same type combination as Tyranitar. It is the only dark type Pokemon in the Monster Egg group. It shares its category name with Dawn Fan. They are both known as the Armor Pokemon. Mega Tyranitar is tied with Mega Deansis. For the highest base stat total of all rock type Pokemon, it also has the highest base stat total of all dark Pokemon. It has the highest base attack and defense stat of all dark type. The Mega does. And its design heavily resembles a monster design illustrated by Ken Sugimori for Volume 14 of Microdesign Publishing's bi-monthly game review magazine published on April 1997. Uh, it appears to be its influence may have been an armadillo-girdled lizard, a theropod dinosaur, potentially a kaiju. No mention, no mention of Godzilla anywhere, but it's fucking Godzilla. Mega Tyranitar's back splitting open could be based on an insect emerging from its cocoon. Um, and then... They Japanese... really went a weird way because it very much has an insect-like lifespan, right? Yep. Like the bee the drill and, very, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. the butterfree, like it's got the middle pupa stage. But the base form and the final form don't look anything like bugs. For... Uh... Eagle-eared listeners who might be entomologists, uh, it definitely does have a hollow metabolist life stage. So, and also, I guess, I guess, if you look at Tyranitar next to a Scyther, it is Fat Scyther. So I'm there is that. Never be able to unsee that, and I hate you. It's it's Fat Scyther, baby. The, the Japanese name Bangiras, uh, maybe a combination of Yaban, which is savage, savage, or Ban, which is barbarian, and. Kira, which is hated. I, that's the name of this episode, Larvatar, Hated Baby. It should it should be, your picture shouldn't be a Larvatar hanging. It should be a Trianatar doing a, trying to do a push-up, looking at a picture of a Scyther. And it's, <laughs> and that's it's good. And it's that's a good. Trianatar. It's that's trianatar. probably more work than I'm capable of. It's trying to get, get ripped. Why not both? Tyranno Geef. Tyranno Seaf. What does this mean? So should this episode be titled Larvitard Hated Baby or Larvitar uh Fat Scyther? <laughs> Fat Scyther, a story of hated baby Larvitar. <laughs> we'll figure hated. it out. You'll know before you download the episode, you're gonna read this episode title and go, what the fuck? Fat hated baby scyther. <laughs> something in there. There's something there. Ugh, uh, so sad. Too bad, so sad. Cody, thank you so much for being here today. I do appreciate it. Of course, of course. Thank you it, for having me. If you want to follow Cody, you can uh, follow her straight to her home at 1923 uh, Street Drive. Uh, and that is in um, uh, Amarillo, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. 76893. Did I get that right? Yep. Perfect. Sure did. And her phone number is 555-555-5556. And my social security code, so that thing is, <laughs> it's, it's all zeros. All <laughs> zero, 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 
Mine is mine is the opposite. Mine's on every form known to man before it gets filled out because it's X X X X X X X X X. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's gonna do it for this show. Follow Cody for realsies on at on on what? What on am Twitter? I allowed to say? Twitter. <laughs> You're allowed to say anything. On Twitter, at Cody Mathis. Uh, on Instagram, at Hiking Beagle, B-E-E, goal. Um, I don't get it. You don't get it? I don't get it. Okay. Um, I've never seen an eagle that starts with the letter B. Beagle. I've never seen a gull that starts with a B. A beagle! You know what happens if you take a beagle to the bay? It becomes he a bays. bagel. It becomes a bagel. Oh, he would, he would bay. He Become, would lose his absolute little puppy. He's mind. a sweet boy. Uh, you can follow me uh, or the show rather on uh, Instagram at Instapod Dog. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Pod Daddy. Pod Pod Daddy at After Dark Ride dot Real Puppy Supplies dot com. <laughs> Browser <laughs> Browser. Uh, no, but that's After Dark Ride at Gmail dot com or Twitter at After Dark Ride. The end. And uh, don't forget, after we hate the baby, we hate the mountain and we crush it and chow it down. -y. Sure. And then Dark Ride does a push up so he's not fat scyther. Maybe. <laughs> Dark Ride. Oh, he's, oh, just let me. Oh, just doing this. Oh, here we go. Just come on, Cody. Get into this one and two and three and four. One and two and work it in, work it out. Work it in, work it out. Work it in, work it out. Come on, lady. We're trying to we're, we're trying to party. We're doing right it. Right now. Get suck in those fat little fighters, you silly little piggies. And we're going to exercise this, this thing out. One no, and two and four. Little piggies. No, hate that. Hate that. That's what I prefer to be called in bed. I freaking hate that. <laughs>